In a world full of long and confusing fragrance reviews, one man decided to cut to shit and spit straight facts about 25 more fragrances, Hugo Boss Edition. And here's his intro. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Number one. Boss Bottled. It's like getting with your first girl ever. It's fantastic, but it's done too quick. Number two, Boss Bottled Eau de Parfum. It's a smoother, less sweet version of the original Boss Bottle with a large dose of cardamom. Number three, Boss Bottled Intense. It's really good, but it's redundant. Yeah, number four is Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum. It's apple, cinnamon, vanilla awesomeness. It's like a warm apple pie, the best Boss Bottled ever. Number five's that Boss Bottle Tonic. It's a less sweet, fresher, and modernized version of the original. It's actually a really good casual release. Number six is Boss Bottled Night. It's a super light, super long lasting, mediocre fragrance that has absolutely 0% of the original Boss Bottle DNA. <laughs> Number seven's Boss Bottled Absolute. A warm, woody, and semi-fruity fragrance, and I actually really dig it. Number eight is Boss Bottle Infinite. A fresh, sweet, and clean release is generic, but decent. <laughs> Number nine is Boss Bottled Oud. No. Number ten, Boss Bottled Unlimited. The worst in the line, the notes are just muddled and it's terrible. Ho ho, number 11 is Boss Bottle Marine. An amazing sweet apple and cinnamon opening with a semi-basic dry down. It's actually a really good release in 2022. Number 12 is Boss Oud Saffron. After trying the original Boss Bottled Oud, I will never try this. Number 13 is Boss Bottled United. A nice sweet opening with blood orange, but then about 20 minutes later, the fragrance dies. Again, another forgettable release. Number 14, Boss Bottled Sport. A typical generic sporty gym scent. It's not the worst in the line, but it's not the best in the line. Number 15 is Hugo. Redundant. Number 16 is Hugo Mint. Pass. Number 17 is Hugo Extreme. An aromatic and green, true extreme version of the original Hugo EDT. It's a truly, really nice, fresh scent. Number 18 is Hugo Era, Era Reversed. A really nice, sweet and citrusy fragrance with green nuances. It's one of the best bang for your buck summer fragrances. <laughs> Number 19 is Hugo Now. An aquatic and fresh take on the Hugo DNA. It's simple, but it's good. Number 20, Hugo Selection. A safe, simple, and versatile citrus freshie. Number 21's Boss the Scent. A leathery, semi-sweet, warm fragrance that I really don't like. Number 22's Boss the Scent in Dance. Doesn't stray far from the original's DNA. It's a little bit better, but I still don't like it. Number 23, Boss the Scent Absolute. Finally, a decent release from the scent line. It takes that original DNA, it strays a bit further from it with some fruity and aromatic nuances. It's a nice fragrance. Number 24 is the scent Private Accord. A semi-sweet dark chocolate fragrance mixed with the original DNA. It's the best in the line and one of the best fragrances for cold weather. Ho ho, number 25 is the scent Le Parfum. As you can tell, I'm not a big fan of this line's DNA, but this is actually not a bad release with a sweet iris take on the DNA. So it's actually pretty good. Thanks for joining me again and come back next week for 25 more fragrances. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe.